it's not every day you're going through the uh, develop, d recording a, planning out the distribution testing video for your channel, and then see the distro do something so abhorrently magical. I know, I know I'm using that word wrong. That was kind of a, uh, on purpose uh, because I'm an idiot. But it's not every day you see something, a distro of BSD, no less, do something so magical and something you don't see on most operating systems for Linux or even Windows or Mac for that matter, that you're like, oh, okay, I have to immediately make a video on this. It's not every day that happens, guys. And today is one of those days where it did happen. Now, I also set up uh, my OBS to not suck, except for my green screen, which uh, still is absolute fucking garbage. I, see, pizza, I'm not stealing something from you. Broken green screen, you don't have that. Ignore that part if you uh, don't know who Pizza is. But let's look at Hello System. And I have it paused real quick, so I'm going to hit cancel. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen a distribution do in, like, just a sec if it loads. But it's just so magical. And something I don't really see any distribution doing. And it's something so it's unique enough to be like, okay, this is going on my whatever the fuck this show is. It takes a minute to load, but trust me, when it does load, it's magical. But while it loads, I want to tell you a couple things about this system. This is Hello System, an operating system built on FreeBSD, developed by the person who makes um, AppImage. Now, for those on Linux, um, you might know AppImage as that containerized system that creates binaries instead of a package management system like Snap or Flatpak. And it's a common alternative to such systems. Now, app, the guy behind AppImage, uh, Pro Bono PD, uh, created Hello System because I, I don't remember the exact reason, but I'm going to paraphrase what I remember, which is that he was annoyed with Linux. And yes, AppImage is coming to Linux. So let's hold on. I, I really need to show you this. Uh, it has music. I don't know why it's not sharing the music with you guys. It's loading fine through my headphones. Uh, but it's basically playing, uh, I, just some random ass, uh, uh, what's his name? Kevin, Kevin McLeod music. Kevin McLeod music. Now you already will notice something. This looks a lot like Mac OS. And that is on purpose. Hello System, from what I remember, is um, an attempt to, by the developer to basically try to recreate like old Mac OS. And if I real quickly go into their desktop configuration, um, if they release uh, for more details, welcoming switchers from Mac OS, not just a theme, not just a clone of anything, but something along the long time Mac users will feel instantly comfortable with. The latest technologies without the complexities of Linux distributions, without lockdown, without Big Brother, and the user is in full control. And I will put up the uh, Hello Systems, uh, Hello Systems Hello repo, which has a lot more information on uh, what this project is about. And their website's also pretty good. Uh, it's actually just a, for some reason, a GitHub IO domain for a uh, instance of read the docs to IO, which is um, interesting, but not incredibly um, strange. And I don't remember what the desktop ex environment was a fork of, if it was a fork of anything. I doubt it's like a complete uh, on its own thing, but it is, well, clearly Mac-like. As you can see, the, with this top bar, and the fact that they're saying Mac OS uh, users, and also there's this. So let's get into this. Here's a simple welcome app, which is pretty nice. A simple welcome app is better than no welcome app at all. Hello, welcome to your computer, made simple again. Click and continue to proceed. A system that works for, not against you. There should be a comma here, uh, because that's just how English grammar works, um, or at least that's how I would write that, but who knows. 
Privacy requires no activation, no IDs, no accounts, does not spy on you, blocks tracking ads by default, comes with peer to peer technology built in, e.g., freedom, lets you load software but with no restrictions, no signatures, no sandboxes, no derivations, makes it easy to modify applications, no hardware vendor lock in. Designed to run on machines that are no longer supported by their manufacturer with an op with operating system updates, security built 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 in. And I think that's supposed to say built in end to end encryption where possible has full source code available for verification. Makes sense. I'm pretty sure the guy who uh, makes this system in App Image uh, is German, and I don't think English is his first language, so I'm not going to dock too many points for. Not great English, like not perfect English. It's good English. Like this is better than I can write sometimes. But like small errors, like built in, that it's supposed to be built in. But again, not too many points dock off, docked off. I know native English speakers who can't speak, who can't make anything as cohesive as that. Have fun exploring the system. Please keep in mind this is a pre-release version, intentionally meaning for mainly for developers and testers, we would love to hear from you. Well, guess what? I'm a tester. And I usually put this like uh, in the beginning, like the last couple uh, reviews I've done, where this isn't full release software. This is about full release as my green screen is. And as you can see, my green screen, unless I do this, sucks. And even when I do that, it doesn't last long before something screws up. I have a feeling it's my lighting. It's probably my lighting. But I don't have any way to fix it right now, so we'll live with the, this poor green screen. But unlike my green screen, this actually is so far pretty sensible. Okay. Featherpad, browser, preferences, utilities, home, and the trash. So I think this should be called the rubbish bin. Then again, I, I, I prefer British words, more, th more pretty non-American words, I should say. Uh, the trash icon is so far doing nothing, which is interesting. Uh, search, I... Uh, let's try Firefox. Uh, f uh, fire... Fire? Hello? Okay, that's strange. Uh, what's the default browser on this thing? Falcon. I've heard of Falcon many time, many a time, but I've never actually used it. So you need to download Falcon, which is interesting, but we'll keep that to the side for right now. Let's. Uh... Yeah, as you can see, this is a free BSD distribution. Um, Interesting shell design, in my opinion. Not the greatest, not the high end of what I would consider a good shell, but whatever. Uh, do we have HTOP? No. NeoFetch. Okay, hold on. Do we have sudo? Yes, sudo pkg install NeoFetch. Okay, right, I forgot. Exit. Yeah, I forgot we're installing Falcon right now, so uh, we'll not worry about that. Free dash H. Uh, no command free. DFH. DFH. So the live CD is uh, 1.6 gigabytes, which makes sense. The actual ISO size is about 1.7. Like I said, 1.7 gigs. Uh, so, oh, wait, right, the size is 2.6 gigabytes. I thought I made it more than that. Huh, I could be wrong. I don't really care. But, you know, this is not horrible. Uh, I've seen worse on other distributions. Uh, Falcon's almost done. Uh, let's open up Featherpad and just, uh, yeah, it's a good text editor. I really, okay, so something I do love about this is the Mac OS look and feel. I, there are a couple issues with it, uh, mostly coming from the fact that this is, these icons, I feel, are a little too small. I wish these were bigger, and I wish this whole title bar in general were, was bigger. But that's more of a nitpick than an actual, like, oh, here's how I feel about that. Also, oh, yes. Yes. Ooh, let's turn on line numbers, because I like line numbers. Oh. That looks weird. 
I'm going to put it as a feather pad issue, not a um, this issue, but not a hello system issue. Uh, discard changes. We don't need it. Let's see what uh, the preferences hold while well, as uh, this holds. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to see what we can do. Screen settings. We could mess with the screen settings. God, why is this uh, system taking... Why is this system so tanked right now? Hold on one millisecond. I'm going to open up um, something to see how my mem... Oh, no wonder. Uh, Google Chrome. I'm, go I'm going to close Google Chrome on my personal PC. Or not close it, but like get rid of most things. That way, we're not using almost 100% of my memory. I'm also going to kill Microsoft Teams. Why is that... But, okay. Uh, so, let's real get into this. Screen settings. Uh, I don't, weirdly enough, these aren't really working. Ooh, Falcon's done. Now, I remember that this was supposed to have an ad blocker, if I remember correctly. So, let's go to YouTube. I keep forgetting I don't have autocomplete on this browser. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Kai likes Linux. Let's uh, go watch one of my, um, let's uh, try watching my 100 subscriber special. Hey, it works, it works, wonderful. Oh God, help. Now let's go to a notoriously ad-filled site. By notoriously, I mean the first new site I can. Okay, interesting, control A doesn't work. Uh, CNN.com, because this is the one I know with ads even though there's all of them have ads this is the one i can think of yeah that's a bit buggy but whatever it works it works perfectly fine let's go into screen settings let's mess with the settings screen settings um default that's perfectly fine i am this is not a completed operating system, so I'm not gonna give doc too, too many docked points off or uh, whatever the hell I dealt with there. Nimbus Sans. Ugh. I'm gonna go with Miles Base. I prefer stuff like Miles Base. Ooh, that's actually a cool shadow effect. Another small gripe I have is in the corners here, you see there's like a little bit of roundness but down here, it's completely flat. I hate that. These can be as flat or curved as they want to be, but I, like make these parts like curved as well. Otherwise, it just looks fugly. Or make it not curved at all here and here. So, you know, that that's another gripe I have. But again, not uh, too big of a thing. Boot environments. I'm too scared to touch that. Let's be honest. And sound, users, uh, there's users, account type, administrator, full name. Oh, this is actually a really cool way to just add and remove users. I actually like this. This is pretty cool. Uh, and let's see, what does system do? 3D printing. We have applications. We so it looks like the entirety of the applications are Falcon, Featherpad, Lector, PDF, View and a couple others. Uh, OBS Studio. I'm not going to download OBS Studio. But it's nice that they have this as an option to download. These options to download things uh, quickly. Ooh, utilities. Install free BSD. This was a problem for me when developing my own BSD distribution not too long ago. Uh, there we go. Yes, because I don't care about the system. Kai Lions. Ooh, I just like, I kind of like that. Uh, root, root. And I want to enable the ability to SSH into here. Oh, that's cool. I like how they give you like the uh, easy command, an easy command to SSH into the system. That's actually really nice. But I think this is like the generic FreeBSD graphical installer for like any BSD distribution. Because I know this is the exact same installer I had problems with when developing Aris Blue BSD. So, you know. 
Uh, LibreOffice, boot environments, desktop, mouse, keyboard, bunch of preference stuff. Uh, developer preview. Music utility screencast. This application is a preview for developers, not fully functional. I want to see this. Am I not allowed to see it? Okay. Ooh, I like how they include LMMS. So if you want like a BSD distribution where you can actually create music, podcasts, videos, uh, basically anything, I, I would recommend this operating system as is. Be oh, especially with the graphics. Blender, GIMP, Inkscape, Krita, Scribus, and Scanlight. I mean, yeah, you're going to have to install it, but like this is actually a decent operating system as is. Uh, we will... Uh, we won't let this complete. I, I know how these work because, fun fact, I've used this operating system before. Uh, this is just the file thing. Yeah, I don't think there's uh, much more else to go here. I think this is already my longest uh, video of this kind. Ooh, coding overloaded. Let's, uh, yeah, let's not do that. Let's uh, cancel that, get rid of it. Uh, but as my encoding gets overloaded and screwed up, uh, I think, here, let's, uh, real quickly, uh, switch over to C2. Oh my god, this is killing my RAM. Okay, so, thoughts on the operating system. It's a really good operating system. Uh, it works really fantastically. It does what it needs to do. Even if it in its early access kind of state, it's perfectly fine. It does everything really well. And again, it had that just ounce of magic to for me to say, hey, let's not have some rudimentary script kind of deal. So, you know, it's a really good operating system. Do I recommend it in its current state? Not yet. But would I recommend it when it's... Well, it depends. It will depend on the kind of person you are. Are you more technical, willing to go through the ch difficulties? Basically, are you an arch user who also likes BSD? If so, you're going to love this operating system and in its current state. Or maybe Gento user who likes BSD. Who cares? If you want something more stable, more re production ready, I wouldn't recommend it just yet. But in its current state, it's actually really good for uh, early uh, development version. So I would say solid 5 out of 10, 7 out of 10, five, between 5 and 7 out of 10, maybe 6 out of 10. Still has its problems. Still a little flawed. But it's a really good step in the right direction. And I think this could arguably be one of the most impressive BSDs behind the big boys such as Ghost BSD, FreeBSD, NetBSD, OpenBSD, Dragonfly BSD, and uh, what, whatever's left of TrueOS. So I hope you all had a wonderful time with this video. I hope you all have a chance to check this out in the future. My name's been Kai Likes Linux, and if you want to see a, a different distribution shown on this thing, a unique and awesome distribution you think deserves some love, Please leave it in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you liked this video. Leave a dislike if you did not. Subscribe if you so wish. Ring that bell if you so can. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.